Welcome Aquarius to your mid-December love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are, oops, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. We do nothing but love readings here and we're going to get more into your energy, your person's energy, the challenge, the mutual energies or the current situation you're in, what you don't see coming in the future. The potential future so let's go ahead and get started i'm just going to go ahead and shuffle this one more time for you guys okay let's see what's coming in for you guys for the month of um, december for mid-december all right let's see whoa oh whoa okay so we have the chariot Okay, wow. I like this. So we have you coming in as the reverse Queen of Swords. Oh, so you're you're not kidding here. Okay, this is a this is a serious situation. I mean, no one's gonna mess with you, Aquarius. The lovers in reverse. Okay. We have the chariot coming in really strong. Your energy is in reverse, so you went cold. The nine of wands energy is in reverse here with the five of swords. Yeah, and the spirit of swords. There's some clarity coming in, some breakthroughs after some cloudiness or maybe some confusion and emotional setbacks. Now let's see what this uh, what, what the situation is bringing. Now, Again, keep in mind, it might not resonate with all of you. Um, if it doesn't, go ahead and check out your moon and rising signs, okay? Let's see. Ooh, we have the nine of cups. We have the queen of cups coming in. We have the queen of swords in reverse. Okay. Gemini Libra Aquarius. We have the queen of wands here. We have the star. Wow, we have wish fulfillments coming all over the place. We have the Queen of Swords again and the Page of Cups and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in in the um, outcome. We have the Eight of Wands and the Will. I like this. Um, the Three of Cups and the World. Okay, so you guys could be dealing uh, with some energies here. Okay. Aquarius, this is being really cold with your words to an individual due to some type of separation, clash, breakup, um, some disharmony within a relationship here. I do feel like you are serious um, about what you say and do. Okay, there's no games coming in with this situation. Um, so I do feel like this person could be view viewing you as very heartless. Um, but I do see that there's mental conflict here. Uh, there's some a feeling of defeat and uh, a lot of challenges here. So there was definitely a test of strength to where you had to like persevere your way out of something very hard. I feel like you just had enough within a situation and someone could be coming towards you very manipulative. Okay, it could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Someone that desired for control, very jealous, played a lot of mental mind games. And I feel like now you're like, no, no, I'm not playing those mind games with you anymore. I'm taking off. I'm going into a new direction. And I feel like someone is coming in. Someone here in a mutual energy is finding you very attractive. Someone could be inspiring you or there's something here to where there's a lot of passion coming in. Could be with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If you dealt with a water sign before, I feel like this is a brand new one coming in. Okay, I feel like you're going more after a wish fulfillment here um, in someone and giving up on a person, definitely giving up on someone and moving towards and communicating or traveling towards uh, something new. The will is here to bring a lot of change in and brought, I feel, bringing in a lot of clarity and breakthroughs within your, your situation. This is mental clarity and feeling focused and now eager to get rid of somebody. I feel like this person, you know, could have been very reckless or impulsive with their energy. Um, and I feel like you did everything that you could in this situation to where you had to turn cold to protect yourself though. And the chariot is more of like moving away. 
and gaining your power, taking your life back, taking your power back and leaving this person behind completely. What you don't see coming is an emotional offer here with the Page of Cups energy. We do have the King of Cups in the outcome. So the King of Cups, I feel, is a good energy. Okay, a really good energy. This could be somebody that is emotionally stable, who's showing a lot of caring and comfort, maybe a good friend or something that's turning into more. Um, there's definitely some type of investing here, emotions, time or energy into the situation. I feel like the will is here to bring something, a, a turning point into your life that is coming into a more wish fulfillment, more going towards your desires, which I feel is that what's coming in for you. Again, we have the water sign here, uh, Queen of Cups energy. So someone very loving and caring or looks at you as very loving and caring and intuitive. Someone showing the same interest. So we have two air signs here in the challenge. You're in reverse, they're in the challenge. And I feel like this is a block, like cutting you off, right? I'm cutting you off. I don't want to this relationship anymore type of energy um and then this one's like all like sweet and kind over here so there's something that you're going towards this person could be viewing you as very cold but i feel like they just need to leave you alone now if that's the energy okay like you heard enough you heard enough you dealt with enough you're done um let's go ahead and clarify i want to clarify this king of swords energy It's coming in pretty reckless. Uh, this could be somebody that talked to you really badly here or wasn't very nice with their words, maybe did a lot of damage within the situation. Someone you just had enough. I mean, it got you to the point to be reversed, got you to the point to be heartless. And, you know, I'm not saying you're heartless, but that's how you're coming up in towards this person. Like they must have did something really bad for you to be the queen of swords. Okay. But I feel like your heart is closed to one person and open opening up for someone else okay let's see what is this queen of swords king of swords energy in the challenge position yeah there's some type of clash some disharmony um <laughs> walking away someone does not want to walk away though okay they're not finished they this is like an energy that you know is carrying a lot of burdens here they they don't want to let you go um, this is really heavy on their mind, their heart, their everything, even though they're coming off a certain way or maybe later down the road, they'll kind of try to new tricks to get you back. But I feel like there's this, this, this clash that is bringing in, um, you walking away here. Um, somebody's moving into a new direction and someone does not like it and they're turning bitter and angry as we have the 10 of wands holding on to a lot of heavy things here, not able to release something. Um, let's get this queen of wands energy. Oh, that's you. You're moving on clearly to a new opportunity. I mean, this could be have the potential to grow into a commitment here. The Ace of Pentacles is could be being brought in by the universe because the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. As you can see, the hand coming from the clouds. So new beginnings here. And I feel like that's when you're just like, I'm done, right? Okay, let's see what this um, Will of Fortune is bringing. Ooh. Look, it's repeating cards, the Queen of Wands, you going towards the Ten of Cups, you're happily ever after. Someone here is making you really happy. Ten of Cups energy. Um, let's see what this Page of Cups is. Ooh, a new passionate beginning starting up. Oh, look at that. Could be um, somebody spying also. So be aware of that, this energy. Somebody could be wanting to gain more information on this new passionate beginning that's starting up, but this is something that is new, exciting, that, you know, something you're moving forward to, um, the will is bringing in. Let's get that, that King of Cups energy, the lovers, I mean, competition, five of wands, like you're leaving someone and going towards something else. That's what that is. And that person is feeling that competition if they do know about this, okay? The lovers though is coming in. So this is all about choices and love, soulmate, higher level of commitment, a lover. Um, this is allowing yourself to fall in love. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. All right, let's pull the romantic oracle, see what type of a connection this is. 
I mean, it is a soulmate, I feel. <laughs> it's like a union here. Romantic partnership, soulmates, friendship, a strong emotional bond, passionate, chemistry, everything. Let's see. Ooh, it's, as I say, chemistry. Yes, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, guys. I want to grab one more. I feel like you guys need one more here. Ooh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. This is wow. Wow. This is amazing, actually. I mean, even though you're cold, closed over here, open over here wish fulfillments coming in for you let's clarify this nine of cups for you uh, aquarius oh the ace of pentacles again this is insane how much is coming in for you i mean it's repeating cards here yeah you're taking your power back and you're moving on you're moving fast um and it looks like you're really really done with this other person all right, let's get the messages of love and see what's coming in for you. You are safe and divinely guided. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Okay, that could be that person over there. And let's grab one card from the hidden truths and see what's, what the hidden truths are. See what if they have to bring. You broke my heart. That could be why they're so angry or sad or something here is happening with somebody else as you're walking away. But I feel like they broke your heart a bunch. Okay. Well, let's grab the lovers of oracles, even though we already see there's a soulmate, there's a lot of chemistry coming in, new wish fulfillments. Everything's being granted to you here as you move forward. You are protected by the universe, which is, means you, it's on your side. Okay. A lot of confidence here. Lots and lots of confidence. And I feel like you're on the move to something great. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yes. That's that chariot energy. And then forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And that's what I feel. I feel that. I feel like it's like life is too precious to waste. Okay. They're probably still a little bit of forgiving here that's going on, you know, but I feel like you're just more focused on what's coming in, like the positive, like what the new is. It's done. You're, you're, you're pretty much cutting somebody off completely. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Aquarius. I really hope you enjoyed this reading for your mid-December. If you do like this reading or if it helps in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for a December bonus reading. God bless.